welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is day seven of Christmas in July, so it is our last video. I hope you've enjoyed the series. I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Today is a bag, and the bag measures uh, four inches by six and three quarters by one and a half. So it's a cute little bag. It's a, a quick one to uh, put together which I thought would be perfect for our very last uh, video. So we're using the Real Red cardstock under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper. We've also got the boxed wood wreaths, which were in the previous catalogue, so I'm glad that they're back. And I have the gold edged metallic ribbon and the library clip. So for this um, sentiment here, I've used the Make a Difference stamp set. This is a really great set. It has 143 stamps and you could make any sentiment that you want, that you could think of. There's a couple of different fonts, so that makes it um, a really good set as well. It's very versatile. Like I said, we have the library clips, the boxwood wreaths, and the gold metallic edge ribbon. The kit for today's our project is one piece of A4 real red cardstock. We have a piece of under the mistletoe designer series paper which measures six by three inches. And we have a piece of whisper white card here that is four and a quarter by two and one eighth inch. So what we might do is we might bring in the scoreboard and we'll start making the box. Okay. So on the shorter piece of the A4, we are going to score it at one and a half inches. And that's going to be the bottom of our bag. Then along the top, so the, the longer piece, oh, there we go. We're going to score at four inches. Five and a half inches. nine and a half inches and 11 inches I think I need to go out a little bit I think I'm too far in okay so we have four inches five in um, five and a half inches nine and a half inches and 11 inches and then on this side one and a half inches while we have the stamp and trimmer out, I'm also going to bring in the designer series uh, paper. And on the long edge, what I want to do is I just want to score it at half inch. And that's because that's going to sit over and inside the bag. So let's use this uh, bone folder and we're just going to burnish all this four marks. So this is definitely one that you could make a lot of for Christmas time to put your gifts in. Okay, so where we have the one and a half inch, what we're going to do is we're going to cut up to that score line on each one, but we're also going to cut off this corner rectangle. You could also um, randomly stamp this bag if you would like. Um, this is going to be our tab, so I'm just going to notch off that tab and I might as well do this side as well while I'm at it. Because this is the tab that we're gluing to make that box or the bag. And then on each of these little tabs here, we're just going to um, notch those in as well, just so the the bag comes together really well. And that's as simple as the bag is. I'm going to turn this one over and on our tab I'm just going to stick some combo mono glue. So 
glue that together. And I like this glue because you have that little bit of wiggle room. Once you get into position, you're right. So I'm going to close this up a little bit and run that together to get that glue to adhere really well. So looking for the back of the box, the tab is in the back here. So this is the front of the box. I'm going to glue that one down last. So popping the two tabs in, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on them. Holding that one down and popping some glue on this one. Just going to grab my ruler and push that down so it makes sure it's uh, pulled down quite well. That just adheres to the bottom of the box then. That's great. Back of the box here as well. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to push these in just to give me this side bit like the gusset. Excellent. So that's our bag ready to go. Our design series paper I'm just going to burnish really lightly and while I've got the glue out I'm just going to glue that tab down and into the inside of that box. So making sure I've got my back um, to the back. Popping that in the middle. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do our stamping here. And because I've used the Make a Difference uh, stamp set, it is photopolymer, so I'm going to bring in my mat again and my piece of Whisper White. I have set up on my block already the PEAC. Um, I'm going to stamp these first and then I'm going to take the E off and re-stamp the E in piece. So because this stamp set has all those letters, you could change it to whatever you would like um, as your sentiment. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to line that evenly up, going all the way down that piece of card. Taking the E off there, I'm just going to stick it down onto another block. Oop. There we go. Finish that word off. Really doesn't get much easier than that, does it? Beautiful. Would you believe it? That's all the stamping we have. For this piece, I'm just going to bend a cut the bottom of that. So I'm just going to cut up the middle and then from the edges, just cut up into that end of where we've cut. If you have the banner punch, you could certainly use that. Okay. Bring in all our embellishments. We have gold library clip. There is uh, 12 uh, in each pack, so there's quite a few that you can use. And what I did is I just sort of opened it up a little, just made it a little bit bigger of a reef. Just like that. Okay. So with our ribbon, I'm just going to tie a ribbon 
tie a bow. And this ribbon ties really beautiful bows and they're easy. My ribbon scissors in. Okay. I'm just going to use a glue dot to stick that down to the library clip. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one down with some Tombow glue as well, just to the top of the bag. Popping it in the middle there. And I also brought in some dimensionals. Because I found, if I stuck one under the piece, And then one under here as well, just popped it up a little bit, just made it a little different. Okay, sticking our wreath on, popping it into place. How cute! How cute are these little bags? You can actually fit quite a lot in there as well. So, fit a lot in that one. Thank you so much for joining me with the seven days of Christmas in July. I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I'd love to hear any comments that you have. Until next time, bye.